All right, so today we're going to be testing our Forex knowledge and taking one of these quizzes on babypips.com. We're going to start in preschool. I have not done any of these quizzes uh, in the past, maybe like three years ago or something when I started doing this, but I have no preparation at all. So we're going to get right into it. Uh, let's start with the first one, I guess. So it says, how do you trade Forex? Uh, let's take a look at here. All right. Uh, with starting something new, you have to know exactly how you will make money. The same goes for Forex. Put your knowledge to the test by taking this quiz. All right, let's see how we do. If you wanted to trade a $20,000 position, how much money will you set aside in your account if you're using 101 leverage? I believe it's just dividing 20,000 by 100, so you take away two zeros, so it should be $200. Let's take a look. Now, it's no nonsense Forex trades. We don't really worry about leverage because we're only trading 1% or 2% of our account, depending on whether you're trading prop or not. Um, but it's good to know anyway. Number two, what do you call an order that is placed to buy above the market or sell below market at a certain price? Um, limit order, stop entry order, one cancels other. I've never heard of one cancels other before. Um, I'm going to try stop entry order. I think it's either that or limit order. I'm actually not sure between the two of them. A stop entry order is an order placed to buy above the market or sell below the market at a certain price. All right, cool. Number three in Forex jargon, when you are going short, you're set to be selling. Yes, it's not buying, it's not losing a trade, it's selling. Good. Number four. And a current spare of the first round is called base. Easy. What do you call a stop loss order attached to a trade that moves as prices fluctuate? That's a trailing stop. That's something that I use and all no-nonsense Forex traders use in their strategy. Easy. What is another term for the ask price? What is another term for the ask price? It's not stop. It's not long. It's either offer or bid. An ask price. Offer? Offer and ask mean the same thing, don't they? Offer. I'm offering you something. I'm asking you something. Yeah. If you purchase 10,000 units at an exchange rate of 1.5 and close out at 1.512, how much profits will you earn? I'm pretty sure you're just subtracting the two. So 5120, 5000, that's just 120, 120, 120 pips, correct? What is the difference between the bid and ask spread? Easy. In quote, what is one pip equivalent to? Two, three, four. I'm pretty sure it's just four, right? One, two, three, four. It's not 1.0, 0.001, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. Hmm. I think it's either option A or C, but I think it's option A. Yeah. The unit of measurement to express the change in value between two currencies is called a pip. A pip is usually the last decimal place of a quotation. Okay, that's good to know. A pip is usually the last decimal place of a quotation. How much money do you risk when uh, zero? You don't risk any money. You don't even pay the spread on demo accounts. It's literally paper trading. Yeah, it's free. If your broker doesn't offer a demo account, you probably shouldn't be using them. How many units are in a micro lot? Oh, shit. Okay, so one is standard, 100 is, I believe 100 is mini, no? Or is 10 mini? One is standard, so it's either 100 or 1,000. Micro lot. What's a mini? Is that 10 or 100? It's either 100 or 1,000. It's not one, it's not 10,000. It's 100. No, they're a thousand. Yeah. It was one or the other. Hundred or a thousand. All right. What is the term used to describe trading with borrowed capital? Margin trading. Profitable trading, no options trading is something completely different. That's margin trading. Yeah. As a newbie, how many currency pairs should you concentrate on? One, two, three, as many as your heart desires. Okay, I'm pretty sure you can just take out the first one right away. One, two, or three. I mean, I feel that's really subjective, isn't it? Like on, and no nonsense, Forex, we trade like 28 currency pairs. So it's like, 
It should be just one, two, or three. As a newbie, one. Stick with one of the major pairs because they're most liquid, okay, something like Euro USD, which usually means tighter spreads and less chance of slippage. Plus, in the beginning, you need time to focus on improving. All right. Fair enough. 92%. All right, not bad. We didn't ace it, but I mean, we got one wrong, so I, I'll take it. All right. You scored better than 78% of all quiz takers. All right, that's pretty good considering how I didn't even study for this quiz either. We're going to do another one as well just to see because this one actually, it was fairly simple and straightforward. Margin trading. Let's just go to the second one. I mean, I don't really do margin trading, so I'm not really expecting a great score on this. What is margin trading all about? Margin trading requires you to draw margins around your charts. What is that? Margin trading gives you the ability to enter into positions larger than your account balance. I'm pretty sure this is the right one. Uh, your security trade exact same as your account balance. That's wrong. What do you call the start amount of cash in your account? It's balance. Once your account is approved and you can transfer funds into it, this account should only be funded with which is cash you can afford to lose. Once your account is approved and you can transfer you with risk capital. Yeah. If you open a new position, this is immediately reflected in your account balance. False. Your equity changes. Yeah, your balance doesn't change until you close the position. Your equity moves, but your balance doesn't. Your account balance will only change in one of the three ways. Which among these choices is not one of them? When you move your stop loss. Okay, so when you close a position, your account balance has changed. When you add more funds to your account, your account balance change. Uh, I think it's when you move your stop loss. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. What do you call the procedure of moving open positions from one trading day to another? All over? Yeah. Holy shit, I just realized there's 25 questions. Okay, this is this is a long one. What does unrealized PL refer to? It's profit loss. Unrealized. So it's not recently closed. It's just open positions. Profit loss and current open positions. Uh, yeah, that's the right one. Uh, you are currently short 10,000 units, which was still at 0.67. The current exchange rate is 0.68. Calculate the loss. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Um, 10 hundred. I think that's just 100 pips. 10 pips would be the first 100. Yeah. Is profit that can no longer be effective because it's no longer, so it's realized profit. Yeah, because no longer part of a trade. That means you've realized it. It's like when your investments as well. What do you call the amount of margin required to open a position? This is usually expressed as a percentage of the full position size. What? What do you call the amount of margin required to open a position? I, I don't know what it is. Required margin or margin. Yeah, margin requirement, <laughs> required margin, it's margin requirement, all right. Let's say you deposit $2,000 into your account and you want to short your USD with one mini lot, 10,000 units with a margin of 3.5%. How much will your required margin be? Okay, so it's either 70 or 700 because... Oh. By 70. Fuck. I'm not good at calculating. I literally have an EA that calculates this shit for me, so I don't have to. True or false, if you open more than one position at a time, each specific position will have its own required margin. That's true. One position at a time, each specific. Yeah. You open a long position with a required margin of 400. You have realized profit for your USD chief trade worth 200. How much is your used margin? What? Required margin of 400 realized profit trade. How much is your used margin? Okay, so you started with 
400 and you realized, so you've closed it out for $200. How much is your used margin? It's just 400. Yeah. What does equity represent? So not your balance, but your equity, your profit loss, your profit loss, your real time value of your trading account. Yeah. If your account balance is 1500, you have an open trade with a floating profit of 300. How much is your account equity? That's 1800. Yeah. What do you call the margin that's locked up and can't be used? What do you call the margin that's locked up and can't be used to open new positions? I have no fucking idea. Required margin, deposit margin, or use margin? Like what? I don't know. That's locked up and can't be used. I mean, I put required margin last time. So maybe use margin. Yeah. When is the value of your account equity the same as your account balance? When you don't have any open positions. Is a difference between equity and used margin? Ooh, okay, hold on. Equity and used margin? I think it's free margin, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. You have an account balance of $1,000, then you decide to open up a position with 300. I hate these math questions. Require margin. It's your only open trainer position currently trading at break even. How much is your free margin? It should just be the balance, no? $1,000 with 300 required margin, so it's just 700. Yeah. If your equity is 3,000, you use margins 950. What is the value of your margin level? I think you just divide that. 950 divided by 3,000. So it should be 31.67. Let's take a look. Where's my calculator? So 950 divided by 3,000 is 31.67. Fuck. Oh, I did it the wrong way. Oh my God. What's the difference between a margin call and margin call level? So margin call isn't actually just like straight up, just close your account. Margin call having your fling loss being used calls. A margin call is an event that signifies that you've fallen below a certain value while the margin call level is a threshold that your broker set that will trigger an event. Margin call happens when you're fulling loss creating a used margin. Yeah. Yeah, margin call level is a threshold. Okay. Oh, I don't fucking know. Complete the formula for the margin level. Blank over used margin times 100% is equal to margin level. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's times 100 just by simple math. So I think it's either equity, equity over used margin times 100 is equal to margin level. I think the last question used equity over margin. So I'm going to guess with A. Yeah, there you go. Determine which among the following is not true. Okay, we have two questions left. Which of the following are not true about margin levels? The lower the margin level, the less free margin available trade. The higher the margin level, the more use. Uh, okay, it's not number two. The higher the margin level, the more used. If you don't have any trades, your margin will be there. I think it's number two. Yeah. True or false. Once you reach your stop out level, all brokers are required you to send an asking for your permission to close all your running trades. I don't think they actually ask. I've never been stopped out. I don't think they ask your permission. I think they just straight up close it. I'm pretty sure they just close it. Yeah. They won't send you a warning message. They'll simply just start closing your trades along with the message. Yeah. I've seen so many Forex fails. Wait, what? We still have one more question. What do you call the specific level percentage where if your margin a level is equal or below it, your positions will automatically, I think it's just stop at level, right? Or, or it's margin call level. I think it's stop out. Yeah. 88. Okay, not bad. So I got 88 on this. I got 92 on the other one. 
better than 68% of all quiz takers. Again, literally I did not do this and I use an EA to like figure out like all my position sizes and I don't worry about margins since I don't, I don't trade more than one or 2% uh, per my account. So anyway, that's going to be the end of this video. If you guys liked it, let me know. I'll do a couple more of these. I actually like fun. I have fun doing these kind of quizzes here, kind of test my brain out and kind of keeps it going getting older now. So you kind of have to do a few more things to keep it active. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching and have a good day.